Hi, I'm Mike Huff. I'm a predator hunting guide. I use a lot of trail cameras and predators are primarily nocturnal animals, at least in my part of the country they are. Something that's frustrated me for a long time is trail camera images at night. They're often blurry, they're not very crisp. Uh, not just dark ops, but even some of the low glow and red glow cameras. Years ago, camera trail cameras had a white flash. That was great for quality. You could see at night if that was a 10 point buck, 12 point buck. You could see the spots on a bobcat because everything was in color. So finally, something happened with technology uh, that's not a gimmick. I actually like it quite a bit and it makes nice images. But it came out this year from Browning and it's called a dual lens camera. But before I show you that, let's take a look at a standard camera, okay? So this is, a, this is a Browning camera. This is a Dark Ops Apex. And like all cameras, you see in the front, it has a sensor, and then it has the lens right below it. That lens and all lenses out now are hybrid lenses. So they have to take an image in the daytime and at nighttime. So it's a compromise. Browning came out with this new technology. They call it dual lens technology. And you can see instead of one lens, there's now two lenses. The idea is that one lens is optimized for daytime and then at night the camera switches over and it uses the other lens optimized for night. In my opinion it makes a big difference. Um, I'm really happy. This is the Strikeforce Pro XD. Uh, this is a phenomenal camera. They also make uh, a dark ops version with the dual lens technology as well. Uh, it's noticeably better than a single lens, but in my opinion, this camera right here with the, uh, with the low glow red IR or the regular red IR um, is the one to get. It's a phenomenal camera. If you need night pictures like I do, is a big difference. I'm going to show you at the end of this video what I'm talking about. I'll show you some of the images and then I'll go through some of the video. And in the video, I'll show you a daytime video. I'll show you one at dusk and then I'll show you one at dark. Um, but a little more about this camera. It's great for a lot of reasons, okay? Um, it can take up to a 500 gigabyte card. Nobody's gonna use that, not, not really that important. It says that it's 24 megapixels. I don't believe megapixel ratings for any trail cameras. They're interpolated. You have to look at the image itself. No matter what that number is, I pretty much ignore it. But one thing that is pretty true and I do look at is the trigger speed. It's very important to have the fastest trigger speed you can have. This has a uh, 0.15 uh, second trigger speed. It's really quick. Another nice thing about this camera, and I think all Browning cameras, is it takes six batteries instead of eight, and they seem to have pretty good battery life. Um, and then I didn't even realize this. I only just got two or three of these, and when I went to grabbed the one in the woods the other day, when I opened it up, I realized that inside this camera, they have a little screen built into it for viewing. So when you open this camera, you'll see there's this little screen that turns on. And what you can actually do is right at the tree, you don't have to pop out your SD card. You can go through your pictures and you can go through your videos right there at the camera. I mean, you can take them home, put them in the computer, and take a look at them. Um, it's not a total, you know, significant thing, but for me, it's kind of neat to walk up to it and see, because I'm excited, you know, hey, did I get some bobcats, coyotes, you know, what's on this camera? Uh, plus, it helps, too, for setting up the camera. Uh, you can look at the lens, see where it's actually pointed. And then another neat little thing about this camera here, they have a bracket on the back. Um, I don't need this bracket. I hang most of mine in trees, but up in a tree bracket. But if a lot of people, they'll put a camera against a tree and then they don't quite have the right angle. So what they'll do is they'll jam something in the side here, a piece of wood, and they'll try to angle it. So this, although for me isn't a big deal, for some folks might be, but you can see that bracket, the strap will go around the tree through here, and then you can kind of, you know, control what angle uh, the camera has. But Anyway, I wanted to give a shout out, kudos to Browning, dual lens technology. I hope in the future all cameras have that because if you really think about it, maybe two thirds of my images, maybe three quarters of them are at night and I need good night images. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, check it out. 
Uh, hope you like it if you get one as much as I do. Thanks.